Here's a fun riddle for you. Two friends want to ride the seesaw on the playground, but neither of them wants to go through all the effort of actually pushing off the ground. They find a clever way to do it. They go up and down and up and down and up and down, and neither one of them ever has to push off the ground. How do you think they did it? Today, we'll answer that question and more with my experiment, Fiery Seesaw. Hi everyone, I'm Emily Calandrelli, MIT engineer and host of Emily's Wonder Lab. And on my channel, we learn about all things science and space. So grab your lighters and your birthday candles because we're about to play. Emily's Science Lab, stay curious and keep exploring. Emily's Science Lab, stay curious and keep exploring. Do you know the answer to our riddle? Well, let's say both of our friends who weigh the same got on a seesaw and wore layers and layers of jackets. This friend takes off a jacket, so she now weighs less. His side would go down. And now he took off a jacket or two. He would weigh less now, so his side would go up. And they would keep on doing that over and over and over again. The person who took off the jacket would then weigh less and their side would go up the other side would go down. Today, we are going to bring this riddle to life, but instead of jackets, we have birthday candles. For this one, you need two birthday candles, two glasses that are the same size, a sewing needle, a lighter, and some tin foil. The first thing you wanna do is take your birthday candles and put them end to end, just like this. We're gonna use our tin foil to connect them. So wrap your tin foil, you just need about an inch and a half, and then wrap that very carefully around the two. And you just want them to stay together. Once you've got that, squish it together. And it's easier if your tin foil is just a little bit wide so it can cover more of the candle. So once you've got that, take your needle and place it right through the center, just like so goes right in between the two candles. This is going to be our balancing point. So now, place the glasses just a little bit apart from each other, and we are going to balance our sewing needle between the two glasses, just like a seesaw. Here's the fun part. Now we wanna balance our fiery seesaw. Right now, this side, the one closest to me, is going down, which means I need to move the center of mass this way, closer to the center where the needle is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull out this candle ever so slightly, and that's gonna move, oh, looks like perfect. So now I've moved the center of mass right by the needle to our balancing point, and our fiery seesaw is officially balanced. So now we're gonna light both of our candles. What do you think will happen when we do? Let's find out. Three, two, one. There we go. Do you see what's happening here? So as the wax drips off the candle, that candle is becoming lighter. You'll notice as soon as it drips, it goes back up because it all of a sudden became lighter. It's the lighter end of our seesaw, right? So this is exactly like the jackets example. It's shedding jackets becoming lighter each and every time, making the seesaw go up and down and up and down and up and down. And this is how you make a fiery seesaw. Thanks for making a fiery seesaw with me. If you like this one, check out my best-selling Stay Curious and Keep Exploring book series for 99 more science experiments. I'm Emily Calandrelli. Subscribe to learn about all things science and space. And remember, stay curious and keep exploring. I'll see you next time. Emily's Science Lab.